everyone. Welcome back to Sacred Saints. Today we are going to learn about St. Gemma. Canonized on May 2nd, 1940, St. Gemma has been a saint for 82 years now. Let's learn more about the life of St. Gemma and the road she took to becoming a saint. St. Gemma was born on March 12, 1878 in a small Italian town near Lucca. At a very young age, Gemma developed a strong love for spending time with God in prayer. On June 17, 1887, she received her first communion. She was said to have been loved by all of her teachers and fellow students. She was a student at school, and the school was ran by the Sisters of St. Zita. Gemma even though she was shy, was known for always smiling at everyone. To the sadness of her and her family, she had to quit school before the normal age because of chronic illness. Throughout the saint's life, she was chosen to experience many mystical encounters and special graces. Her experiences were often misunderstood by those around her at the time. This led to her being ridiculed by those who did not understand. St. Gemma suffered great heartache from how she was treated by others. She remedied this by being reminded that God himself had been misunderstood and ridiculed. St. Gemma was known as the Flower of Luca and was often referred to as the Daughter of Passion because of her intense replication of the Passion of Christ. She had an intense love for the poor and wanted to help them in any way possible. Sadly, when she was 19 years old, her father died, and she became a mother figure to her seven brothers and sisters. Once her siblings were able to share the burden, as they grew up, St. Gemma went to live with her married aunt for a short time. While she was away at her aunt's, two men proposed to St. Gemma. She refused these offers as she wanted to remain silent, retire, and more than anything, desired to pray and speak only to God. St. Gemma returned home after these proposals. After she returned, she became very ill with meningitis. While she was ill, she regretted that she was causing a burden to those who were taking care of her. She felt herself being tempted by the devil during this time. She prayed for the help from Venerable Passionist Gabriel Pocenti, and through his intercession, Gemma was miraculously cured. St. Gemma wanted to become a nun, but her poor health stood in her way. She offered the disappointment that this caused her as an offering to God. St. Gemma predicted that the Passionist would establish a monastery at Lucca, and this happened just two years after her death. Her relics remain in this monastery to this day. On June 8, 1899, Gemma had an internal warning that something unusual was about to happen to her. She felt pain and blood coming from her hands, feet, and heart. These were the marks of stigmata. Every Thursday evening, St. Gemma would fall into rapture and these marks would appear. Such marks, called stigmata by the Catholic Church, refer to the appearance of wounds of crucified Jesus Christ appearing on bodies of some men and women whose lives are so conformed to his that they reflect the wounds of remedied love for others. The stigmata remained until Friday afternoon or Saturday morning. When the bleeding would stop, the wounds would close. The wounds would continue to appear until her confessor advised her to pray for their disappearance due to her declining health. God eventually answered her prayers, but white marks remained on her skin until after the wounds stopped appearing. 
Through the help of her confessor, St. Gemma went off to live with another family where she was allowed more freedom for her spiritual life than she was at home. She was found in a state of ecstasy on many occasions. On one occasion, she was believed to have levitated. St. Gemma often saw her guardian angel. She sent the angel on errands, usually to deliver messages to her confessor in Rome. During the apostolic investigation into her life, all witnesses testified that there was no artfulness in Gemma's manner. Most of her severe penances and sacrifices were hidden from those around her. In 1903, St. Gemma was diagnosed with tuber tuberculosis. She died at the age of 25 on Holy Saturday, April 11, 1903. She died in the company of her parish, parish's priest, who said, She died with a smile which remained upon her lips, so that I could not convince myself that she was really dead. She was canonized on May 2, 1940, only 37 years after her death. She is the patron saint against temptations, against death of parents, against tuberculosis, of students, and of pharmacists. Her feast day is celebrated on April 11th. Thank you all so much for listening. Make sure to check us out on our social medias, Instagram, Facebook, and even Pinterest. See you next time.